When you have your iPad, you turn it on. This is the lock screen. So you slide to unlock and then you put in your code. Once you put your code in, you will see your main screen. Here's some different features that you might want to know about. First, if you have different apps open, you can either double click your home button and you can slide through all the apps so that way you can get to something like Notability. Or if you're in the app, you can always go down like you're pinching it together and I'll bring you back to the home screen. You can also pinch out to do that instead of hitting the buttons. If you want to close an app, for example your calendar, you can swipe up and that closes that app out. If you swipe from the very bottom up, you'll get this next screen. What this will allow you to do is quickly take pictures, use a timer, change your brightness. It will also allow you to play songs. If you have AirDrop turned on, you can move files back and forth between people. Airplane mode, if you have your Wi-Fi on or not, Bluetooth connected or not, do not disturb or not, and if you want it to be locked. If it's locked, then when you move it, instead of it changing the direction, it will stay. If it's unlocked, then when you move it, it'll change direction. Under your settings tab, you can do things, for example, you can say your side switch can either be used as a mute or to lock the rotation. You can also see what background apps refresh, so that way not all of them are using all of your energy. You can also go on here to change your wallpaper. I suggest that you have a wallpaper that is your name, like I do, or your picture, something that anyone can pick up and recognize it's you. So that way, if it's turned off, they just have to turn it back on, and they know exactly whose it is. You can decide on your sounds on this as well. And if you go into iCloud, you will see Find My iPad. You want to make sure that Find My iPad is turned on. If you do not have Find My iPad turned on and you request an insurance um, because you broke it or it was lost, you will not be able to have the insurance um, without having Find My iPad turned on. This is also where you can do Do Not Disturbed if you want to say that there's no FaceTime or messages during school. That's always a good idea. You have your control center where you can say um, what things you can control within the apps, that sort of thing. And your notification center to see what sort of notifications you want. These are the things that pop up. So, for example, for FaceTime, I don't necessarily want a big pop-up in the middle of my screen, so I can put it on a banner. But I do want to show it in my lock screen, and I want a badge. I suggest that for things like Schoology, where you might be getting notes from your teachers, that you always keep it on at least banners or alerts, and you have the badges, the notification, and the lock screen turned on. Your Wi-Fi should either be student one-to-one, -one, or D211 mobile, depending on which of the schools that you go to. Airplane mode takes it off of the Wi-Fi and makes it so that way you can only do the things without internet. It's good if you need to save battery. When using the App Store, if you see the little notification, that means that you have updates that need to happen. You can do update all, and then you'll have to put in your passcode. This is also where if you go to purchased, you can see the apps that are available. If it is one that has not been downloaded yet onto your iPad, it'll have a little cloud button. You can click that, and then it will start downloading. If it's one that you already have, you can always click open. You can go to not on this iPad to see which ones have not yet been installed that you have with your Apple ID. This is how you can always get new apps that are made available to you through the district. The mail button will show you what email you have through the school. You can write a new message 
by clicking on the um, paper with the pencil and then you can start just typing your message. If you want to split the screen of your keyboard you can move it apart and then it's more like texting. To move them back together you just pinch them together. Up in the corner of your iPad you will see how much battery life you have remaining. You want to make sure that you keep this as close to 100 at the start of the school day as possible. If you want to organize your folders, or your apps into folders, you click and hold on an app until they start sort of jiggling around. If there's an app that you realize you don't want, you can always click the X and say, do you want to delete it? And you can decide if you want to delete it or not. If there's no delete button, then it's one that cannot be deleted. If you want to make certain apps go together, you just hold on to it and drag it into another app. Then in here you can rename it however you want and hit done. And when you are ready um, for them to stop being organized, you hit your home button. Now, when you want to go into that folder, you can just go straight into it like you would if it was out here, but they're organized into folders. Finally, take note of some of the features that are available. There's a calendar where you can look at the day, the week, or the month to see what appointments you have and make appointments. It's a good place where you can put things like your club meetings and when assignments are due. There's a clock, but besides the clock, it also has an alarm and a timer. You can take notes straight from here. You can set up reminders for yourself. If you have questions about your iPad or having any difficulties with it, please see your school's technology department as we are always there to help.